Now he looks like he's dying. <laughs> Today, Rascal is in our video. <laughs> and Sunny's here. Rascal has just met another dog, which is why he's super excited and can't calm down. Today, I am going, to, or we are going to talk a little bit about Rascal. Uh, if you follow me on my blog or possibly on my Instagram, you already know what's happened. The comments on this video will be turned off from the start. So if you see it like in two days, I didn't turn off the comments after a while. They're just gonna be off from the start because this is not a video I want comments on. Simple as that. So now you know that. Yesterday night, we got woken up by Rascal having an epileptic seizure. We didn't know that at the time, so both of us were kind of in panic. From the looks of it, Rascal couldn't get any air and his muscles were cramping and uh, it looked like he was dying and we couldn't do anything to, to help him. If you've never seen a dog have a seizure before and you look it up, you can imagine why that would be disturbing for those who don't know that it's an epileptic seizure. So we both got very scared and uh, didn't know what to do. And I was sure that he was, like once the seizure was over and he relaxed, I, I, I thought he died right there and then. So in that moment, we tried to straighten him out, like, because we didn't know what was wrong. So we just tried to get him, get him up, but he was like non-responsive. And, and this lasted for about a minute and felt like 10 minutes. I can honestly say I've never been this scared in my entire life or helpless for that matter. That's what happened. Cat tried to call someone. It's not easy to just know who to call. I tried to, I, even when I googled, it was like, our opening hours are like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It was like, okay, well, it's four in the fucking morning. Who am I supposed to call? My dog is dying. So what we learned from this experience, we, we learned who to call if this happens things like this happen. And next time it happens, we won't have to call someone because we know what's happening. Other emergencies can happen, of course. Well, also after it happened uh, and we had called uh, the vet that was working the night shift, I guess. Mm. After we had called her and talked to her about it, she was quite certain that it would be an epileptic seizure. She wasn't like, um, she wasn't like, mm, I don't know what it is. She was like, yeah, it's probably what it was. It sounds like that. And we also looked it up videos and read a lot about it during that time so we also like everything pointed to that pretty still much. four in the morning yeah he gave signs uh, of having another seizure at um, like 90 minutes later but that seizure never came which mm. is good he only showed like the he showed the early signs of having the like aura dog. that happens before a seizure yeah. it's called an aura apparently since this just happened and we are on the symptoms watch like when he yawns, I think he's gonna have a seizure. Every, everything looks suspicious right now, so we're probably a little bit over worried, but uh, I'd rather be that than not worried at all. We contacted the vet, we called Sonny's parents in the middle of the night so that we could get the car, we borrow their car, so we could go to the vet in the morning as soon as they opened. We talked to our breeder as soon as she woke up. She like has never come in contact with seizures among all of the dogs she has had or bred or sold. Same people don't breed on dogs that have seizures, period. Uh, so it's nothing that has happened in his line of heritage. She doesn't really know a lot about seizures, so we can get a lot of information from her. Um, but we called the vet, we then vent, went, went to the vet. <laughs> we went to the vet, uh, they made us wait in a room for 50 minutes before they showed up and uh, they just checked him out. They also said, based on what we had to share about our experience, that it was an epileptic seizure. Also, they took blood from him to be able to rule out some other possible causes. Uh, for example, poisoning, um, high or low blood sugar issues, or just see basically that if anything else is wrong, which it wasn't. So it's not something a blood test could show. It's most likely idiopathic epilepsy. In its early stages and developing. Yeah, and the idiopathic means that it's not uh, like a tumor or a toxin or an allergy or something like that. Most likely. You can only 100% give the diagnosis idiopathic epilepsy when having ruled out everything else, which we haven't done. Um, but since it only has happened once, 
we'll kind of have to wait and see if it happens again. And depending on when it happens again, we will look into ruling out other things. If it happens again tomorrow, we'll definitely start trying to rule out like true tumors and everything like that. But if it happens again in three years, most likely he has the epilepsy. We're not gonna start any medication or anything right now since he's only had a seizure once and we haven't ruled out everything else. He's snoozing on the floor right now. The vet said that you start medication when the seizures are either multiple in a day or possibly uh, closer together than once every six weeks and that obviously hasn't happened yet so hopefully we don't have to give him any medication because medication means two pills a day for the rest of his life and it would be really nice to not have to do that so if we can stay away from it we want to do that mm -hmm. and if we can't then of course we are gonna have to take the medicine but I we're, mean, I... we're hoping for as few seizures as possible and a lot of you guys have written me and said that your dogs have had she always comes and creeps on me when I film. <laughs> uh, we, a lot of people have written that their dogs have had seizures and stuff and that medication really has helped. Some say that medication hasn't helped, um, but that their dogs, even though they have seizures from time to time, have lived a super healthy, happy life. During the seizure, as far as people know, the dog is not in pain. Hopefully, there's no way of knowing, but hopefully they have a blackout the way humans can when having seizures so they don't remember it. Dogs don't walk around and worry about the future. They live in the moment, so he, he doesn't even know that he could possibly have seizure in the future. Only we know that. And the thing with epilepsy is the dog is perfectly fine all the time except during the seizure. Uh, which is also why it's so difficult to diagnose, because you can't find anything. It's a neurological symptom, it's a reaction that happens in your brain and it's, you can't test it unless you test the brain exactly when it happens. Also, uh, is seizures or are seizures and is epilepsy more common in purebred dogs? Yes, it's way more common in purebreds than in mixed breeds. Um, does his neurological symptom have anything to do with the length of his nose? Absolutely not. Even though all dogs can have seizures at any age, it's, mo it's mostly common during the, like, from 10 months to 5 years, approximately there somewhere, that they develop signs of having epilepsy. And the most common breeds are breeds like German Shepherds, Golden Retrievers, Labradors, Boxers. And these are not the dogs that are in the Bulldog family. So saying that bulldogs are the most common or are very common to have seizures is false. It has nothing to do with the way they are bred or their face, nose, breathing. Sure, they have other issues, but seizures are not on the list of common diseases for bulldogs. So I just wanted to clear that up for those of you making up facts out there. But uh, of course there are bulldogs that have seizures, just like there are other kinds of dogs that have seizures. It happens. And humans too. And humans too. This also means that we cannot breed on Rascal because of the chance that he has epilepsy. We can't take chances on that. So this means that Rascal will not breed. But for us this is very very sad. Me myself, I had looked forward for this a lot. I really wanted him to be a champion of breeding, so to say. That just like his father. I was looking forward to doing that. We had laid up a plan for how to do it and we were kind of just waiting for him to, to reach the right age and to be able to put him out in a sh dog show uh, to get a grade on him uh, and we did the BPH test as well that we have shown in a previous video and of course his health is the number one priority and as long as he feels good and are healthy I'm happy but this this was really a letdown for me. Uh, he's a great version of the dog and his, it would be, it's a shame not to be able to share his genes and produce more healthy Frenchies. And the breed gets a bad reputation because of the people who don't take it seriously. If we were shitty people, we would have bred him anyway, even though he has seizures. And that's crap. You can't do that. So no puppies for Rascal. And as a result of that, we will most likely look into some kind of chemical uh, castration or neutering. Uh, just. Because the chemical one is not a surgery, it's a shot, I think. It's not irreversible, um, so you could 
try neutering him and then see how he takes it and then if it, everything turns out good you could do it permanently after that but that's something we'll look into in the future because if he's not going to be bred then it's not very nice for him it's not we're not going to make him to bread don't make him a bread uh, since we're not going to breed on him it's not nice for him to suffer <laughs> suffer around ladies if we would have known about this earlier, we would have neutered, neutered him earlier because he is almost two years old now and his hormones are already in his body. So there is a chance that neutering him won't make a difference at all because it has already started. Um, but it's worth a try. We just want his best and him to feel good. And now he's just looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> Looking at his mirror reflection. It's like, stay. when will my reflection show who Snoop is inside? So that was a terrible experience. It's probably gonna be a terrible experience every time, but at least now we know what's going on and we don't have to think that he's actually dying. Uh, we know that the next time it happens, it's very important to time the seizure. Uh, because that's information that really helps the vet if he had to go on medication for it. Uh, so time the seizure, we are going to try our best to film the seizure when it happens, if it happens in the future. The thing is that even if it happens again in half a year, three years or seven years, he still has idiopathic epilepsy. If it happens soon uh, and we have a reason to start digging and doing more tests to figure out if it's something else because there have been misdiagnoses and dogs that have had vitamin deficiencies or some other infection in the body or something like that that have been diagnosed with epilepsy when it hasn't been epilepsy. So we can't be sure but the vet said that it's most likely and it's very common for it to be developed in this age that he is in. So everything points to it, um, and the way seizures work is that every time you get a seizure, the nerve, the nerve things in your brain uh, get more used to having a seizure, and that makes the odds that you have another seizure, seizure greater. So every seizure increases the odds of the next seizure, and he's only had one so far, which is good, but if he keeps having them, he'll just have more of them. So it's, uh, it sucks bad because he's so healthy and happy and awesome otherwise that this was uh, very, very unfortunate. But he's still the same puppy and we still love him the same. Yeah. Now we're just worried about him all Constantly. the time. <laughs> well, was that little grumpy A half yawn. Yawny grumpy man. So, no sons for Rascal, but we'll get him a brother one day. And this is also an illness that there's no way you could have seen this when he was a puppy. He's been 100% healthy up until now, so there's no way of knowing. I'm sorry the comments are not on this video. I know a lot of you probably would like to share your experience or whatever, but feel free to email me or, um, I don't know, comment on Instagram or send me a DM on Instagram or my Facebook page. All my social media is below if you want to share your... I have something to share now. Yeah. I want to thank everyone for the support and uh, the well wishes. Yeah. Um, a lot of dogs had, have wished Rascal well. Yeah. Rascal thanks them too. Right, Rascal? You thank them? You have no idea why yesterday was your birthday. Even though your birthday is in January. <laughs> Rascal got new toys and like snacks and playtime yesterday. He's just on my knee. Nice. Good job. High five. Hey, yeah! Good boy! Okay, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, have a super duper good one. I'll see you later.